Hey party people! So today I am going to be sharing with you a package that I just received um, and I'm going to unbox with you. And I'm also going to be sharing with you four fountain pen inks that I have found work really well on the Stology paper. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, this is what I currently have my A6 Stology in. This is my Chic Sparrow uh, E-Class. A6 size in creme brulee dark chocolate. Um, so yeah, let's move this over to the corner here, but let her peek because I know you guys love to see that tab action. All right, so here's my package. Um, I've already sliced it open. I am not going to say who I bought this from. I bought this secondhand, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep that information private. But here it is. Oh, it's actually upside down. Ah, gorgeous. So this is the folio made by Kelsey Horan, I believe is her last name. Um, and her Instagram name, which I'll link down below, is called Kelsey Creates. And through her Instagram, you'll be able to access um, all of the information to order one of these covers. But I've been drooling over these covers for a very long time now, but I wasn't um, using Astology yet, so I, you know, hesitated getting it. And I wanted to make sure that I really enjoyed being in an A6 Astology before I ordered one of these. And by the time I decided that I wanted to order one, um, she had closed up her shop to process her current orders. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait it out. And then I saw that somebody was selling theirs and I jumped at the bit and bought it. So I did not have to wait. Um, it is so beautiful. It's rustic. Um, I believe this has been tanned a little bit. If you can see on the interior here, um, it is lighter. It's like an undyed leather. You know how popular undyed leather is. And um, the back has already patinaed and it's beautiful. Um, it has some beautiful marks here on the back it's gorgeous and what i really like about this and why i was really eyeing this is because there are three holes here in the clasp so as your stylogy gets bigger and thicker it just is it's it's this can lengthen and get better is what i'm trying to say um that is basically why i had moved out of my gilio um, i wish i had brought it down for you should I bring it down? Uh, no, I'm gonna do that in another video. I'll compare like all these different covers for you. But as you can see right here, my tabs are already like touching the end of this, which I don't mind that. But of course I'd like to protect them a little bit more. And that's why I thought I would try this leather cover out. It's gorgeous. So um, let's move everything in. All right, so I showed this in my last video, but I have it on the back and front covers. I'll move all the goodies in a second and I'm just gonna slide this into the back here. Perfect fit. Ah, oh, do you see that? Like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like tons of room for my uh, tabs to be protected. And let's move over all the other goodies. So the Ollie clip was a gift as well. So I'm gonna keep that cutie in there. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this underneath the clip so I can protect it. So we can keep it up a little bit. There we go. But I don't wanna cover Murphy's face, there we go. Um, so my little zinc paper things, I think I'm going to put in the back here. I also have this that I think I'm going to actually put in the front pocket. So we're going to put that aside a second. And this um, is the business card for the Crescent Planner for some of the vellum that's inside of here. And I actually use this for um, tipping in um, my goodies. Then my paper clip. Put that on the side here. And I'm going to take out these as well. So now my TN is empty. I think I'm going to put this in the front pocket. So 
you can see this floral decor right there. Um, and then this, just so I have a straight edge for writing, I'll put that there. And I pulled these out, these goodies here, because I know that this has a front pocket that I really wanted to decorate. And I'm gonna put these in the front pocket. So this is a beautiful, this is actually a larger postcard from Jana Yintin from Sweden. Um, she is um, a very big YouTuber. Um, and I just love her photography and her artwork. So my husband actually got me these postcards because he knows I'm a big, big fan. So we're gonna just slide this in Ooh, about right there. Oh, doesn't that blue look beautiful? against this color here. This color reminds me very much of Mr. Darcy. If you are familiar with the Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy leather. And I'm keeping this out because I'm going to attach my bow clip here so that I can tuck it in like so. Yeah, because I don't want to put the actual clip on here. And then this, because I love the detailing, I'm just gonna slip it in right here as well. Oh my God, isn't that cute? I love it, I'm so happy. Thank you, you know who you are that I bought this from. I is a happy girl. So, all right, on to the next part of this video. I'm going to grab my pen pouch here. Um, I actually have six pens inked up right now, and I'm not gonna show you all six, but I'm gonna show you the four pens that have the four inks. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find a blank page. Uh, okay, here, this is good enough. All right, so um, as I was saying, there's six, I have six pens inked. I'll just show you which ones I have inked at the moment. And, sorry, there's dogs barking, baby in the pool with my husband, so there's lots of background noise. But um, this one is inked up, these, these two vintage ones are inked up with inks that are, they're kind of um, friendly, like they don't feather or anything like that um, on the Stylogy paper, but they do bleed through. So I don't wanna share those just yet. I want to share with you the inks that are in these four pens because these ones I have been writing with nonstop and I have seen a little bit of ghosting, which I absolutely love, but no bleed through, no feathering, and they're just really, really awesome. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to put these off to the side. This is brand new to me. This is my Caveco Brass pen with a medium nib. Hopefully I'm still in frame here. Yep, perfect. So, um, actually here it is. I'm gonna show you what it looks like too. So it is Diamine's Ancient Copper. Let's just write it out. Now, some other things that will affect the um, how it comes onto the paper are the size of your nib. So these are medium. Uh, this is a medium nib, so it, it's going to put down a thicker line like than a fine or an extra fine. But if you go to a broad nib, I can't speak to whether or not it's going to bleed through. So as you can see, let me take out my blotting paper. There is a fly in here. Oh my God. If it comes into frame, I am so sorry. <laughs> but as you can see, there's like, actually you can't even see, oh no, that's because there's two pages there. There we go. As you can see, there is some ghosting, but absolutely no bleed through. And if you get closer, you will see that there is absolutely no feathering. This ink has done wonderfully on the Stylogy paper and I have really enjoyed writing with it. Um, now this is the Caveco Brass. Oh, I knew Murphy was gonna bark. Murphy! Sorry about 
that. Murphy gets a little neurotic when Kai and Matt are in the pool, so hopefully he doesn't bark again. Anyway, here is the Caveco Brass Sport. If you want me to do a review on this, I would be happy to. I have really enjoyed using this pen. All right, now the next pen I have is my Pelican M600 with an extra fine nib. Even though it's an extra fine, I find that it still writes pretty, um, like puts out a pretty thick line. So what I have in here is um, Irishizuku, if I remember how to spell that. And that's by Pilot. Um, Pilot is the one that makes the Irishizuku ink. And I am not going to try to pronounce this, but this is the... Murphy's trying to get on my lap right now. Oh my goodness. Um, there we go. I've posted a lot of photos on Instagram with this particular ink and I get so many questions about it. That's why I wanted to share it here. But that's what it's called, T-S-U-T-S-U-G-I. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Um, it's a beautiful ink. And as you can see, again, absolutely no feathering. And on the back, no bleed through. There is ghosting though. Fantastic. Okay. Now in this beauty, this is my Pelican M. 400 with a stub nib. It's an extra fine stub nib grind. Um, and in this one, I have Alt Gold Groon by Roar and Klingner. And I will say that I have a bit of a heavy hand. So when I write, I do press pretty hard on the paper and the fact that there is no bleed through is pretty awesome. So there you go. A little bit closer there. Again, no feathering. And then there's a little bit of bleed through right here, but as you can see up here, there's like, it's just ghosting. And then finally, in my Pelican M800, I love this pen, I have Robert Oster, whoops. This has to be my favorite ink ever. It just has so much character. Lots of shading in it. African gold. Alrighty, so there you have it. Again, absolutely no feathering. And on the back here, no bleed through, just some ghosting. So yeah, um, I will say if you are a fountain pen user and you don't like ghosting, um, Stology paper might not be the best for you because it's just gonna happen. Um, but there are inks out there that work really well on here. Um, and there are definitely some inks that are just, that just don't at all. So, yep guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been getting lots of questions on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, I do share a lot about, you know, my planner and bags and all my favorite goodies. So you can follow me at the Miss Mrs. Mom on Instagram um, for all the pictures. Uh, and you can also DM me on there to ask any questions at all about anything, about myself, about my planners, about like literally anything. Um, all right. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Until next time. See ya.